Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Google Pixel 7 and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S22 and see how both these phones compare in 2024. Now, both these phones came out back in 2022, and they were some of the most popular phones you could basically buy as that, as that point. The thing with both these phones is that they're both very good. They've aged quite a bit, and in the used market, they've gone down to around that $200-ish price tag. They're, you know, 200 to 300 So let's see how these two-year-old flagships kind of compare. You have any thoughts or if you want to go and buy these, you know, purchase these particular phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these two particular phones, the Samsung Galaxy S22 on the front, which came out early 2022, has a 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display. It's a 120 hertz panel, 1080p, and overall it's a really good looking display. Like I really like the way this particular phone looks, 1300 nits of peak brightness, and it definitely is a really good type of display. It's really good. I think it's a good panel. I think it's probably a little bit better than the Pixel 7, but it's still a very, very good looking display when it comes down to it. The Google Pixel 7, on the other hand, has a 6.3 inch AMOLED display. It's 90 hertz, 1400 nits of brightness. So it's a little bit different here. One, it does get brighter. So it gets like 100 nits brighter than the cool, the Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy S22. Why do they keep saying Galaxy Watch? However, it doesn't have a 120 hertz display. It has a 90 hertz display. Now it's still a very good 90 hertz display for the most part, but it's not quite as good as the Galaxy S22's panel. I think the S22 does kind of have overall the better panel here. So just one of those things to keep in mind. But from that side, at least on the front side, I think the Galaxy S22 does look kind of better than the Google Pixel 7. On the bottom, we're getting USB Type-C ports, which is really, really good. Curved sides and a flat side kind of on both, kind of the same type of texture. However, on the back side, it is a slight difference. So with the Google Pixel 7, you're basically getting a standard glass back on the back of this thing, which looks very nice. Whereas in the Galaxy S22, we're getting a frosted glass back. So with both these phones, I think they look really nice. And I think these are very, very good phones. But I definitely will tell you, you know, here's the thing. The Pixel 7 feels good, but the Galaxy S22 feels like a flagship. If you're going to compare these phones to flagships nowadays, two years later, the Samsung Galaxy S22, from a build quality standpoint, is going to hold up better than the Google Pixel 7. So keep that in the back of your head. It isn't the biggest deal breaker in the world, but it is one of those major things to keep in mind there. Now you are getting a dual camera setup on the Google Pixel 7. The Galaxy Galaxy S22 is getting a triple camera setup, so just, you know, another big thing to keep in mind there too. IP certification on both, wireless charging on both as well, which is really nice, and reverse wireless charging on both these phones as well. So definitely from the exterior, like I mentioned, if we're going to look at both, they're both very good phones, but the Samsung Galaxy S22 does feel more like the flagship to me than the Google Pixel 7. However, there is something else that is very, very interesting here. So in the Galaxy S22, you're basically getting a 3700 mAh battery inside of it, whereas on the Google Pixel 7, you're getting a 4,355 million power battery. So this is something that's also very interesting here, because when it comes down to both, you're kind of getting like a 600 million power battery extra inside of the Google Pixel 7 than the Galaxy S22. So if you're going to go and pick up a phone, like you might as well go and buy something like a Pixel 7 because it has such a bigger size battery. I think the S22 holds up really, really well from the build quality standpoint from the exterior, but practically from a battery comparison standpoint, I've done a lot of battery comparisons here and there between both these phones, but I definitely do think the Pixel 7 is a way better phone here from a battery perspective than the Galaxy S22. So from the X and from the outside, from the outside, from the outside and from the you know battery side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. Now from the camera side, two years later, I'm still saying the same thing that I said two years ago. The Google Pixel 7 has a 50 megapixel wide and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, where the Galaxy S22 has a 50 megapixel wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. What I can tell you about these two cameras is, is that number one, you're getting 4K 60 on the front and the back. You're getting an ultra wide camera on the front of the Pixel 7, which is honestly very nice. But the big thing to keep in mind here is that you are getting such a flagship type of camera inside of the Samsung Galaxy S22. This is a phone that's giving you 8K capability on the back of that phone, which is genuinely amazing. It's also such a good phone from pretty much every single other angle you can imagine it from a camera side And I do think that is a really big thing to keep in mind Like if you're going to go through and pick up a phone I really do think that with that type of phone You're going to be getting such a killer type of display and a really good camera Which makes those types of features and everything stand out and pop even more So I do think if you're going to go through and pick up a phone that makes me very happy on the Galaxy S22 to recommend to people I think the Pixel 7 holds up well I think it is a very good camera and I do think the thing with that type of camera is that it does hold up well even when you're going through and using it for like you know a lot of other reasons too like if you're going to go ahead and use something like a you know google pixel 7 that type of camera i think does a really good job for a majority of things that you throw at it because it is a good type of lens but i do think like i said before the samsung galaxy s22 is more of a flagship 
That's the type of camera that I look at and I'm like very, very happy for people to go and buy. That is the one that I recommend probably majority of people to go and pick up if I'm being honest. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there a little bit as well. Now on top of that, when it comes down to software, this is kind of probably one of those main areas where a Samsung Galaxy S22 probably isn't going to hold up that well against something like the Google Pixel 7. So here's the thing. With the Pixel 7, I feel like these types of phones do hold up fairly well against, you know, a lot of other devices from a, you know, software perspective. If you're going to go through and pick up a phone, I do think something like a Samsung Galaxy S22, this phone on One UI is good and great and everything, but the Pixel 7 on stock Android, is just going to be lasting longer than something like a Galaxy S22. So why would you go through and buy a phone like the Samsung Galaxy S22? when you can go through and buy a phone like the Pixel 7 that's going to be lasting for a longer period of time. And two years later, these phones are still supported with software and everything like that, but sometimes it may just make more sense to go and buy a phone that's going to last longer than the Pixel, you know, than a Pixel 7 to be honest, but it's going to last longer than a Galaxy S22. It's funny because both these phones after these two generations, both these phone manufacturers absolutely killed it from a software side. They started doing a really good job from a software perspective, and I do think that's a really, really good thing. But these two phones were kind of the last generations there, and you can tell because of the price tags, because these things are just so much lower in price when it comes down to it. So overall from that side, definitely goes to the Pixel 7. From a performance side, this is also a very interesting thing, because we're kind of flip-flopping all over the place. The Galaxy S22 had a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset inside with 8GB of RAM, with the Google Pixel 7 had that Google Tensor G2 chipset inside with 8GB of RAM as well. So the RAM is exactly the same between both these phones, which is a very, very nice thing to have. But I'm going to tell you, if you're looking at the internals, I kind of do think that the Galaxy S22 is probably going to be giving you the overall better experience from a soft, from a performance side. Although that Tensor G2 chipset was good and it probably wasn't as controversial as something like the HN1 chipset, I kind of do feel like with something like the HN1 chipset, you're still going to be getting a really, really good experience, right? That type of job, or that type of job, that type of phone is going to be giving you very fast speeds. That HN1, I think Snapdragon chipsets are so much better than, Qual than you know, Tensor G2 chipsets and Google's ones. So I feel like there needs to be a lot of improvements on the Tensor side, even with the Pixel 9 in this day and age. But I like the Galaxy S22. I feel like this is a better performing phone when it comes down to it. And here's the thing I'll tell you about both these phones, right? I love both these phones. They're very, very good. I think the Galaxy S22 is one of those phones that I want. I just wish it was a little bit better from the battery perspective. The battery on the S22 is just not that good. And even two years later, it's even worse. That is not the battery life I'd recommend people to go and buy. The Google Pixel 7, I think this is a phone that I like a lot. And although it isn't as flashy as the S22, doesn't have the best camera, doesn't have the best feeling, and uh, you know, it's kind of like a 90 hertz display, I think that is a, probably a safer phone to buy than the Galaxy S22 when it comes down to it. S22 is still great, but the Pixel 7 is just one of those devices that I think might be the better one when it kind of comes down to it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.